My Diamond Team. My Diamond Team is a high reward contract on Binance Smart Chain that is paying out 1.5% daily returns on an investment up to 365%. You can compound your earnings through deposits and by reinvesting your rewards. There are also team-based referrals and I understand that not everybody's going to be able to do that. So you use this protocol directly with Binance Coin. That is the currency for the entire protocol. So this technically has no coin of its own. Now the principal deposit cannot be withdrawn. Only the rewards and the referral rewards can be withdrawn. Each deposit cycle is 365%. Now when 365% is reached, that cycle is complete and you can actually deposit more money if you want to in order to increase that max payout. Now, if you compound your deposit of one Binance coin for 365 days, a full year, that would turn into 2,100 Binance coin. This would be 32.5 Binance coin that you're making per day without any referrals. That is a 210,000% gain on your deposit. This would be a 3,250% ROI per day on the one Binance coin that you deposited after 365 days, if you compounded everything. This basically means that you would start off with $400 and after one year you would be making $13,000 per day. Yeah, okay. So by the way, the max payout is 80% of your deposit. That means what you can claim is only 80% of your deposit. So you can't let your rewards stack up too much because say you've got one Binance coin that you started off with and that's your deposit and then it stacks up. Every time it gets up to 0.8 Binance coin, you need to be taking your profit because once it gets up to like you know 20, it'll take you like 40 some odd days to get all of your money out because you can only take 0.8. So just be aware of that. So this is actually genius and I really like this idea. So kudos to them for doing this because this makes people really like think, hmm, should I take the 80% every time I get 100% ROI? Should I just take out the 80% and then reinvest the other 20%? Or should I just let all of this stack until I get there? Since I'm only gonna be able to take out 80% anyway, should I increase my deposit? That way I can pull more profits at any given time, yeah, that's like a genius method to keep people reinvesting into the protocol. I actually really like that, so. And here's another word of caution. If you put in a new deposit, it redeposits everything that you have in unclaimed rewards. So say you've got your 365% ROI, but you haven't taken out all of your money yet, and you're like, oh, okay, I wanna add another deposit. Well, it's gonna add your deposit, whatever you deposit, and then anything that you haven't claimed. So like, be aware of that, because you could think that you're gonna deposit more, and then take your profits, and then bam, all of your profits are gone, and they go back into your deposit. So just, you know, be cognizant of that. Now, what do they say about their own project? The My Diamond Team BNB bankroll project says this. It is a decentralized community support fund built on the BSC blockchain and implementing smart contracts technology. My Diamond Team smart contract uses this technology to help participants reach financial independence. When a participant deposits BNB into their system, that contribution supports the community. This activates the contract code, which supports that contribution in turn. Now, I do like the fact that they warn people about the protocol being a Ponzi scheme. And they do that literally on the website by saying exactly this. This is a 100% decentralized and community-based project, meaning that there are no guarantees and no additional sources of funding within the project. It is supported by all of the members for the benefit of the financial advancement of the community as a whole. So in short, you support others and others support you back. I like the fact that they disclaimered that because it just shows that they're being transparent about the fact that other people are paying you, so I like that. Now, how do you make money? You have to deposit a minimum of 0.1 BNB, and this is in the hopes of getting 1.5% on your money back every single day. Now, the maximum is a 25 BNB deposit, so whales can't just come in and take over the protocol. This kind of, to me, makes not a lot of sense because if you compound, you're going to get over a 25 BNB deposit anyway, but I guess what they're saying is it's okay to compound into that deposit. It's not okay to just drop 50 BNB into this. So, okay. Now, 
Here's the ways to make money. The 1.5% daily return on your investment as passive income. There's a 5% direct referral commission. You also get a 5% bonus if you reinvest your profits. So say you have like one BNB that you have in your rewards wallet and instead of pulling it out, you say, I wanna reinvest it, then it'll actually put in 1.05 BNB for you. So then there's a commission on the daily income of your referrals. And this goes up to 15 levels. And this goes for every time that they make a withdrawal or deposit, anytime they move money at all, you get a portion of that. And it doesn't take the money from them. So their deposits and their withdrawals don't go down any when you do this. Essentially, the protocol takes it out of their fees. Now, for level one through five, you have a 10% commission. For level six through 10, this means people that are like six degrees of separation or more from you, it's a 7%. Then level 11 through 15 is 5%. So your direct partners are one level below you. Then the people that they refer are two levels below you, then the people and so on and so forth. You see what I'm saying? And you can have up to 15 degrees of separation. The daily top referrer pool is 3% of all deposits. That gets set aside in the pool and then every 24 hours, 7% of that is shared to the top four people in that referring volume. So the top person gets 2.5%, number two gets 2%, number three gets 1.5%, number four gets 1%. So here's their fee structure. There's a 10% fee for investing and there's a 10% fee for withdrawing. So your deposit stays as it is. The tax for investing is paid by the protocol. And then the tax for withdrawing is paid out of your available balance. So you receive 90% of your withdrawable amount, which you can only receive 80% of whatever your deposited amount is. But it's not your actual deposit. I'm saying you can only pull out up to 80% of what you initially deposited in rewards that you've accrued. But you'll only get 90% of that. You can remove your rewards once per day or once per 24 hour period. Or you could compound so that you don't have to have those unnecessary fees and you can add them into your deposited balance anytime that you want and not have to pay those fees. Now, again, the 5% bonus for reinvesting still applies. That really incentivizes people to continue compounding and kind of keeps the pyramid going. Like Matthew McConaughey said on Wolf of Wall Street, revolutions, revolutions, right? Now they do have an anti-whale withdrawal tax. So it's scaled based on the amount that you're moving as it pertains to the contract balance. So the withdrawable taxes actually are on top of the 10% that is the regular base tax. So if it's another 10% in the tier that you're in, that means you're getting taxed 20% to pull your money out. If the amount of money that you're trying to pull out is less than 1% of the entire contract's available deposits, then it's a 0% tax. In between one and 2%, that's a 5% tax. In between two and 3%, that is a 10% tax. And this goes into increments of five all the way up to a 50% extra tax added to people that are trying to pull out more than 10% of the entire contract's balance. Now this is what everybody's been waiting for. This is why everybody shows up. This is Drew's secret sauce. These are the real numbers behind the project. We're not even gonna waste any time. Let's get into it. There's 4,792 members. There's 4,913 BNB deposited into this protocol right now. That's about $2 million. So there's an average of about one BNB per user deposited. Total withdrawals so far is only 217.6 BNB, which is about $88,000 at present price. And then price is about 403 to $406 per BNB. Now the percent of deposits that have actually been withdrawn in terms of rewards is only about 4.4%. Now the total reinvested or compounded is 863 BNB. That's about $350,000. That means that about 17.6% of the entire deposited total has been reinvested back into the protocol. So that shows that a lot of people aren't actually taking their profits and running, they're actually reinvesting and compounding and trying to increase their deposits. So that kind of shows me faith in the protocol. So the rewards that they have to pay out per day is 73.7 BNB. That's about $30,000. Now their rewards wallet has about $306,000 worth of coins in it right now. This is enough to pay out 10 days worth of rewards if nobody does anything, everybody sits on their hands, takes their rewards, doesn't put anything back in, blah, 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 right? Now, here's the information on the audit. 
V1 was audited by Cybercrime Shield. The audit found no problems in the old contract, but somehow somebody exploited the airdrop feature. So I'm wondering like how good of an audit did they actually do? Because literally this just happened where this protocol got hacked. So how much weight can we actually put on that audit? What happened was basically the some bad actor was airdropping zero balances to all the wallets. And then whenever you airdrop those balances, it takes anything in your unclaimed rewards and it acts like it's a deposit and it takes your unclaimed rewards and throws them into your deposited balance. So all the money that you've made is now back in the protocol. You can't do anything with it. You can't get it back. So he was like trying to ransom this protocol and say, look, I'll stop doing this to your customers, your clients, if you pay me. And they didn't do that. Now what they did was they came out with a V2 contract and that was audited by tech rate. Here's the stuff that the owners have control over. It doesn't really look like they can actually rug if they wanted to, but take that with a grain of salt because they can absolutely change the protocol anytime they want, like percentages, everything. Owner can change or transfer ownership at any time. They can change all of the contract or project community addresses. They can also change the community airdrop and the rewards and referral percentages at any time. They can change the reinvestment bonus value. They can change max deposits, addresses, all that. They can change max payouts, which means that if they take the max payouts down, then it's hard for you to get your money out of the protocol. Then they can change the minimum investments, which makes it harder for you to get into the protocol and they can enable and disable airdrop as well as change the base percentage value at any time. Like that's a lot of control. So do with that information what you will. Now here's my words of caution. We already know your money's gone, you're a slave to the protocol. I don't like that in most of these protocols, so that's just take that for what it is. Watch out for the cycle. I'm not 100% sure if once you reach 365%, you have to replenish the contract or not. I don't think you do, but if you do, then you better plan for that. If you have a large referral business, this could be good, but if you don't, you have to compound to make any real money. This is absolutely a Ponzi scheme where the new investors are paying the old investors, so just be aware of that. The previous version was hacked. They've come out with a V2. I get it, but did you fix the vulnerabilities? I don't know. They did pay back their investors that lost their money on the V1 when the guy was airdropping and doing all that wild stuff. So I do like that. That shows like serious, you know, I appreciate that. You cannot transfer your funds from V1 to V2. So just make sure if you go do this, that you do it on the V2 side. You also cannot switch teams unless you switch a wallet. So if you got referred by X person and you decide to go from V1 to V2, you're still gonna be on that person's team unless you change your wallet. Now the V2 thing, in my opinion, has ring vibes to it, but I don't necessarily think it's ring because it's not like they rugged. They did have a vulnerability in their protocol and they fixed it and then they said, okay, come over here to V2 and we'll help you integrate. But the thing that would have been nice in helping people integrate is merging their V1 to their V2. And the last thing is this has only been going for a couple of months. So just make sure that you take that into account and that you're in it to win it. I'm literally gonna put point one B and B into this project. So if you wanna help support the channel and you wanna jump in this with me, it's literally $40 is all I'm putting into it. That's all I'm willing to risk because I don't know much about this thing. Like until we get further and deeper into it, I'm not gonna put like $400, $4,000 into it. It's just not happening. So I put the bare minimum in. If you wanna help support the channel, use my referral link. I appreciate it. Um, we can all you know go out and try this together. I'm using it as a case study, which is why I'm not putting a bunch of money into it. Now I will let everyone know how that goes. I appreciate everybody showing up to the video. Like I said, always make sure you drop a comment for me, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, bang on the notification bell. Tell me anything that you want from me in the comments section. Interact with the channel like you've been doing. The glow up is real. You're the ones that are making this happen. It's humbling. I appreciate it. I can't wait to see you in the next video and have a good day, everyone.